Hello everybody. Welcome to Shake Hand with Life YouTube channel. Here on this channel you can watch a variety of videos and build up your engineering and management skills. If you are new on this channel then please subscribe the channel so that whenever there is a new video uploaded on this channel you may get the notifications about the new video upload. Therefore subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications of new video upload. I am Narendra Sharma and in this video series of ISO 9001-2015 QM's requirements I will discuss about the clause number 6 which is about the planning of changes. Uh, the sub clause 6.3 is about the planning of changes in the quality management system and check the effectiveness of the changes. So I am just reminding you about the, the clause number 6 which is about the planning and the clause number 6.1 is about the actions to address risks and opportunities and the clause number 6.2 is about the quality objectives and planning to achieve them. These two clauses I have uh, discussed in my previous videos. Now in this video I, I am going to discuss about the clause number 6.3 which is about the planning of changes. So when we are talking about the planning of changes, this is about when the organization determines the need for changes to quality management system, the changes shall be carried out in a planned manner and therefore the organization shall consider a the purpose of the changes and their potential consequences, why the changes are required and what could be the potential consequences or the effects of the changes and B the integrity of the quality management system. The integrity of the quality management system should not be disturbed uh, by implementing the changes. C the availability of the resources. The resources required for the implementation of the changes the top management must uh, provide the availability of the resources. And D, the allocation or reallocation of the responsibilities and authorities according to changes required. So, this uh, the clause number 6.3 which is about the planning of changes. I will describe it, it in detail in uh, the coming slides. In the event of significant changes, when the changes are necessary, the type of changes which are very much necessary, the continuity and the effectiveness of quality management system must be maintained that should not be disturbed the continuity and the effectiveness such as the management the ownership relocation technology product shift in customer base these should not be disturbed the continuity should be maintained the effectiveness of the quality management system must be maintained changes must be carefully planned so as not to disturb organization ongoing capabilities and responsibility to effectively meet customer and regulatory requirements. So changes must be uh, planned in such a way that the, the organization's capability or the responsibility to meet the customer expectations and the regulatory requirements. This should not be disturbed. And how to control the changes? To control the changes, it can be uh, controlled by carefully planning. First, carefully planning the nature and the timeline for the changes. What type of changes are required and what is the timeline or the time frame of implementation of a particular change. Then determine the impact and outcome of such changes. What could be the impact of the change on the quality management system that must be determined by the organization. Ensuring adequate resources are available to implement the change. For a particular change, uh, what type of resources are required that must be provided by the top management or the organization. Top management authorization, any kind of change or the change required that must be authorized by the top management. Change deployment and follow up. Deploy the change and see the result and follow up the the to check the results what type of the results are coming 
after implementation of the changes that must be follow up review of quality management system by top management after changes are effected when the effects of the changes are coming in the the quality management system must review the quality management system how the quality man, management system affected by the 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 the, the changes which are implemented now why changes are required once the organization has identified its contacts and interested parties and then identified the process that support this linkage any organization when it start when when starts its business it must have identified the context what are the internal issues what are the external issues and who are the interested parties and then it has to identify the process through which it is going to manufacture a product or it is going to deliver a service these things must be identified by the organization then the organization will need to identify the risks and opportunities according to the internal or external issues or the process related with to and then to achieve the benefits associated with these risks and opportunities therefore these must be identified so that the organization can achieve the benefits by the implementation of the changes these changes can be related to any element of the process such as inputs resources persons activities controls measurements outputs and these changes can be implemented uh, in any element of the process or the particular process and these changes may be related such as the inputs uh, raw material resources the equipment the persons who are working in the process and activities the activities of the process control controlling of the process measurement activities and outputs such as the product or service the changes could be implemented in any element of the process the changes are intended to be beneficial to the organization and need to be carried out as determined by the organization along with new introduced risks and opportunities need to be taken into account whatever type of changes are required that must be implemented taking in the uh, account that the these changes must be beneficial to the organization and carried out according to the requirement of the organization and consider that the new as uh, risks and opportunities that must be considered before implementing the changes the risks and opportunities that could be uh, uh, the arrived while implementing the changes changes may be carried out in quality management system due to customer feedback now changes may be carried out in quality management system to improve the quality management system and why the changes uh, may uh, implemented in quality management system because of the customer feedback because of the customer complaint and the changes may be implemented because of the product failure because of the employer employee feedback when there is an innovation required determining the risk determining opportunities internal audit results as a management review results or identifying any non conformity so because of these uh, reasons the changes may be carried out to improve the quality management system now prioritization of changes how to prioritize a particular change the changes may occur in for in for example in a process in documented information tooling equipment employee training supplier selection supplier management in these activities the changes may occur these are some of the example where the changes may occur and to achieve the benefits associated with these changes and if the organization wants to achieve the benefits then the organization should consider all types of changes that may need to occur and prioritize the changes on the basis of the organization should consider all types of changes and prioritize the changes on the basis of consequences of the change what type of the consequences 
could happen after implementation of the change that must be considered by the organization and according to uh, that prioritize the change likelihood of the consequences how frequently the changes could uh, the consequency uh, could happen after implementation of the changes that must be the chances of occurrence and it must be considered the impact on the customers interested parties and quality objectives what could be the impact on the customers on the interested parties and on quality objectives after implementation of the changes what could be the impact then also study the effectiveness of the process that are the part of the quality management system if uh, the changes are implemented in a particular process then what could be how the effectiveness uh, be improved or disturbed that must be study uh, that could be the part of the quality management system if the process is improved then the automatically the quality management system also improved now steps to implement changes define the specifics of what is to be changed you must know clearly aware about what type of changes you require and where you want to implement the change have a plan you must have a plan to implement the changes such as the activities tasks timeline time frame responsibilities who are going to implement the change authorities if you have if who authorize the change budget what is the budget resources the people required for the change uh, to help to implement the change needed information what type of information required and others requirement engage other people as appropriate in the change process involve those people or include or engage those people those people who are working on a particular process if you are implement a change in a particular process involve or engage those people who are working on those on it, that process develop a communication plan if uh, you are implementing a particular type of change such as you are uh, changing the design of a product then you must communicate the the change of design to the customer to the supplier so that accordingly you procure the material and uh, uh, inform the customer that your design of the process is going to be changed interested parties what could be the benefit of change of the design of the product that must be informed to the interested parties use a cross-functional team so that the team could review the plan and provide the feedback related to the plan and associated risks and also train the people so that they uh, could help you to implement the changes and uh, measurement of effectiveness measure the effectiveness of the change in a particular process so that you can understand how the process is improving now this is all about the clause number 6.3 the planning of changes now we have a quick recap prior to making a change the organization should consider unintended consequences the organization must consider what type of unexpected consequences or unexpected effects may come as a result of the change so that must be considered before making a change after making a change the organization should monitor the change to determine its effectiveness after the change the organization must monitor and determine the effectiveness measure the effectiveness and identify if there is any kind of additional problem may be uh, might be created so that that could be controlled by the the organization and records of some changes may needed as part of the quality management system uh, the changes must be recorded a documented information must be uh, uh, prepared uh, to study what type of changes are there what could be the possible uh, what 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 are the uh, the effects of the changes and uh, how to monitor the changes all these uh, must be uh, maintained as a documented information so that these records could be referred in a in future for uh, 
to study any kind of additional risk or opportunities so this was all about the clause number 6.3 which is about the planning of the changes now if you have any question or suggestion regarding this video then please drop your feedback in comment box like this video and share this video among your friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe the shake hand with life youtube channel and press the bell icon so whenever there is a new video uploaded on this channel you may get the notifications about the new video upload thanks for watching this video have a nice day see you in my next video of iso 9001 2015 quality management system requirements thank you